This is Twit. Now, Paul, I think it would be a good time uh, for you to deliver your tip of the week to us well, all. Well, then you'll be amazed to know that this is actually going to come from Mary Jones. What? <laughs> I can't handle the it truth. Is. Go it ahead, is. Mary So, jo. I think a lot of people listening to the show might already know this tip, but because I see... Microsoft answering this question over and over and over on Twitter. I'm going to put it out there in case somebody doesn't know it. So the tip is, do you know on Windows 11 that you can right click on the start button on the taskbar and you'll, you will get a quick access list, as Paul told me this is called, of a lot of different options that help you go directly to things like the apps that are installed on your PC, power options, disk management, Windows Terminal, File Explorer, Search. And to me, the most important, shut down or sign out. Because I feel like for normal users, it's really hard to find how to shut down and restart Windows 11. It's not intuitive, which is weird. Um, <laughs> but this yeah. button, um, it makes it really much simpler. Uh, Microsoft keeps answering this when people say, why did you take away the right click option on the taskbar? And they said, well, we did, but have you tried right clicking on the start button? <laughs> well, we did, yeah, we did. Um, I didn't know this and then I right clicked on the start button. I'm like, oh, I wonder if everybody knows this is there because I don't ever remember them really highlighting this or talking this up. Uh, yeah, task no. managers, there, settings, yeah. right? It's all there. So this is, uh, she asked me about it. She's like, do you know this? I'm like, yeah, it was, it's in my book. Yeah. Like, it, was a, it was a feature of Windows 10 as well. So it's, the menu is almost yeah. identical. In Windows 10, originally command prompt admin and not admin was the default uh, for command line. Uh, they moved to PowerShell at some point in Windows 11. It's Windows Terminal now. But the basic commands are all the same and uh, Task Manager. I think for people who right-click on the taskbar and can't find Task Manager, this yeah. is a great tip because... Exactly. You can still you can still get it that way, and it's the same thing. You just have to click in a particular spot, not anywhere. Right. So it's not it's not like because so many times I'm like, why did they take that away? And then I'm like, oh wait, they kind of yeah. just moved it over, right? Well, I never said no, that. No, uh, right click it's task not exactly. Borrow. That yeah, was it, always, it had other options, options right? as well. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a start. I'm trying to be the glass half full person here and say, hey, they it's, did um, take that away, but at least you have this. <laughs> I would call this a workaround. A workaround. Okay. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, if you have normal users, parents, people who may not be experts and have their own Windows field guide at the ready, who, who are they? <laughs> I don't know, but um, sure. guide them to right click on the start button when you're trying to a lot of people call this uh the power user menu you know yeah but the official name is the really, quick right? action menu. Yeah. quick action menu right. is the real name quick access is it quick action quick, or access sorry. access quick access sorry access okay yep access. quick access so my tip is use the quick access menu 